What's up, everybody? This is a Mitsubishi HS337UR. It's a thrift store find. Uh, best I can tell, it's from 85, 86, somewhere in that era. Um, it's very heavy. It's built very well. It was a really high quality in his day. Um, 107 channel capability. Anyway, this thing, when you turn it on and plug it up, it is simply accepting the tape and then spinning it right back out. So we're gonna take a deeper look at this and see if I can get this thing running. Okay, first thing we need to do is get these screws out. There's two in each side. One here, one here, and the same on the other side. So we'll go ahead and get them out. All right, screws are out. So let's go ahead and get the, lift the lid off. Wow, you can see the difference in quality between a, one of the, I wouldn't call this early, but mid-range VCRs and an upscale model compared to like a 90s. This wouldn't be here. This would all be just a hollow cavity right here with the circuit board below it. This also wouldn't have as much metal in it. I'm just looking for anything that looks like it might be off track. Let's check the belt. To get to the belt, you have to go to the bottom of these things. So I'm going to flip it over and we'll take the screws out of the bottom. Okay, and herein lies the problem. Belt is completely broke. Now, what they did back then, the material, they, oh, this stuff is gross. The material that they used, let me get you a good, good shot at this. Okay, as I was saying, I'm not sure what type of rubber compound they used on belts from the 70s to about the mid 80s. But the stuff is horrible. It does not age well at all. It turns into, it doesn't dry rot. It turns into like a putty. Let me see if I can show you what this has turned into. It's like a sticky putty. It's like tar. It just snaps. It, it's just flakes. I shouldn't say flakes. That's a bad term. It just melts like overheated plastic or clay. See how disgusting that is? Anyway, that's what your belts become, and that's why they snap. It's because of this type of plastic, or I should say rubber, some type of rubber compound. Now, I happen to have another Mitsubishi VCR that's kind of on the brink. It's a much newer one. It's from the 90s. I have that on hand. I was taking, you know, using as parts. So here's a belt that came off of that one. Luckily, it is the exact same belt the exact same size it's just made of the newer material which is a lot more age resistant than this so we'll go ahead and get that on all right to put the new belt on there's a small pulley under here and it also goes around this one so we go from here to here all we need to do is loosen loosen these screws Right here, there, and then the screws out of here. So let me go ahead and get that done. Now because of the way that that stuff melts like that, we just want to go over anywhere that it would be touching with a uh, cotton swab and just clean up the area. there and it wraps around this all 
All right, with the screws loosened, we're able to lift this, this piece here just enough to get the belt under and around that pulley. Under there, you lift this piece off. Go around this pulley and there we go belts replaced and working all right I'm just gonna go ahead and get these screws back in and we'll reassemble the whole thing and we'll fire it up and we'll see if we got it working cover For anyone interested, here's the back. I didn't think to show it in the beginning. Um, the model number. Continue on. Selected film. Good sign. Okay, good. It loaded the tape. It's a little noisy. Got it. I think. I think it was the old videotapes, all the sitting you had to do. Except you could skip. You could at least fast forward. I mean, you can skip through some DVDs, but they can program them where you have to sit and watch certain things, which I was never too keen on. Well, give me a picture. There we go. It's working. And there you have it. Belt replacement on a Mitsubishi VCR, very easy. Anybody can do this, that's all you need is some screwdrivers.